Simple is our new sustainability impact measurement platform. It tracks and monitors the impact of all our projects using a unique framework of assessment against environment, social and governance targets and the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So Meridium's simple methodology is based on the Sustainable Development Goals, a universal reporting framework developed by the United Nations in 2015 that serves as the global development agenda for 2030, covering a wide variety of themes going from poverty, hunger, health, education, to clean water and biodiversity. What we did at Meridium is try and relate our activity and measure how our assets were contributing to the achievement of these sustainable development goals. We devised a sustainability strategy at Meridium that was based on five target pillars. And as you can see, each and every one of these target pillars is related to at least one of these SDGs. The themes vary from biodiversity to resilience in infrastructure and affordable and clean energy. It starts with sending an annual survey to each of the projects we have in our portfolio at the end of a calendar year when they have reached financial close. Here you can see the list of all of the projects that we have and what the screen looks like when you're on the home page of the survey. It's a user-friendly online tool sent to the project team in order to collect information on the project from environmental, social, societal, governance, and project information and activity uh, standpoint. We have a diversity of categories that are themselves divided into subcategories, and then a diversity of indicators. We have quantitative, qualitative, multiple choice, yes or no type questions. And as you can see here with this little icon, some of the indicators allow us to score the performance of the project and measure its contribution to the relevant SDGs for its type, geography and uh, state. We have different types of functionalities, but one of the most interesting ones is the confidence index that allows the person that answers to indicate what is the level of reliability of the information. Is it a best guess, an estimation, or is it an operational, audited type of data? The answers provided on the SDG-related indicators on the survey are then translated on a 0 to 5 score, where 5 is a best-in-class on a similar type of asset in a similar type of geography. So the answers to the survey that are collected on an annual basis are then translated, converted into scores on an online dashboard that we use to measure the global meridian performance on a given year and the level of its contribution to the SDGs. So here on the home page, you have Meridium's contribution to 13 of the 17 SDGs. The 13 that were identified to being relevant to Meridium's activity given the nature of its assets. We have uh, several different functionalities. We can visualize by type. I can select by country, by fund, or by project state. For example, I can also do a comparison. So I can view the hospital projects in 2020 and compare their performance to the same group of assets but in the previous year. So I just select by type, click on hospital, and I can see here with the two different color codes how the hospital assets were performing on their respective relevant SDGs. Dark blue is 2020, light blue is 2019. There's also the possibility of selecting a given asset. So here I can do custom selection and select a particular project, for example, this one. And I can see its performance and level of contribution on the SDGs that were identified as being relevant to it. This allows us to identify where are the strong points and areas of improvement of an asset. Our consultants work to lay down several sources to create this benchmark and have a scientific approach to our methodology in order to be able to contextualize the positive impact of our projects. The consequences of this tool and the results that we can obtain through it is that we can work in close collaboration with our project company and identify strong points but also areas of improvement. So create an SDG roadmap where the project team 
can validate a series of measures that they need to implement over the upcoming years in order to improve the positive impact and the contribution of the project to specific targets and SDGs. This really helps us as Meridium serve our role as long-term asset manager. A second purpose of this tool, of the simple methodology, is to allow us to communicate in a new way with our investors by providing them with an extra financial point of view on the funds that they have been part of. Thanks for your attention.